Hello everyone, I'm Kirby, this is Kirby Meets Audio, and today we're gonna to do another Build Talk video on these open baffle speakers that I built last week. If you haven't seen that build video yet, I'll put a link up to it right here. Go check it out. All right, let's talk about design. So open baffle speakers have a very simple design. It's literally just this front baffle part of the speaker. The front baffle is just the front of the speaker and it's open on the back. The idea is that you hear the sound coming from the front of the speaker as well as the back of the speaker. So the back of the speaker projects sound as well. It hits whatever is behind your speakers, the wall, whatever, and then it comes back and hits you in the face. Now this uh, design gives the speakers more of an airy, open feeling uh, or sound. Um, and that's, that's, I guess, the point. Now I've heard about open baffle speakers quite often um, and I've seen them here and there, different designs, but I've never actually listened to or built my own. Um, so this was a little bit of an experiment. I did learn a few things to keep in mind when designing these speakers. Uh, the first thing is that the baffle part of the speaker should be as large as possible, ideally. Um, this keeps the sound waves coming from the back of the speaker from canceling out the sound waves that come from the front of the speaker. The other thing I learned is that symmetry is your enemy. So having a round front baffle with the speaker right in the center is a bad idea. Uh, a better idea is to have a rectangle front baffle and have the speaker slightly off center. All right, so here are my goals that I had going into this build. Number one, easy. I really like that this project seemed very easy. Um, it's pretty much just a piece of wood uh, with a hole cut out in the center and something to hold it up. Uh, pretty simple for a beginner and something interesting for a veteran. Number two is cost. Um, pretty much the only big ticket item that you're gonna have to pay for are the woofers or the speakers. Um, everything else can be either be really cheap or um, not very expensive. Number three is curiosity. Um, I've always been interested in how these speakers sound and I was excited to do some sound tests and just tests in general uh, with them once I, once I made them. Number four is good sound. I really wanted these speakers to sound good. Uh, we'll get back to that. All right, let's talk about materials. All right, keeping with the goal of curiosity, uh, I decided to make the front baffles out of solid birch. I've never actually used this material before, never worked with it, um, but I plan on using it in an upcoming, pretty big upcoming build, and uh, I wanted to get my hands on it and see if I liked it. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. And staying with the goals of keeping it easy and low cost, you can pretty much use whatever materials you want for the front baffles. All you're really trying to do is keep the sound waves coming from the front of the speaker away from the sound waves coming from the back of the speaker as long as possible. Um, so I've heard of people using cardboard or really thin plywood uh, for the front baff for the baffles. Um, it's really up to you. I I'm sure the material changes the sound in some way. Um, I'm not really sure how much or how. This is another cool thing to test out. Um, but they seem to have good success with it. They liked it. So, you know, try it out. See, see what works, see what doesn't. All right, let's move on to components. The speakers I chose were the Dayton Audio PS180s. Um, the six and a half inch eight ohm speakers have a frequency range from 48 to 25,000 Hertz. Um, and they look pretty good too. <laughs> so to be honest, I'm not even actually sure if these are a good match for uh, open baffle speakers. Um, they, I think they are. <laughs> um, they have a wide frequency range. Uh, they have a low resonant frequency. They have high sensitivity, but I'm not actually sure what goes into, other than that, into um, choosing a driver for this type of speaker enclosure. Um, if there's anyone out there that has more experience uh, with open baffle speakers, I would love to hear how you choose your drivers for your speakers. Um, or for your builds. Um, thanks, hit me up in the comments. Appreciate it. But that's really it. That's what's so cool about these uh, enclosures. It's just the speaker, a little bit of speaker wire and some terminals. And that's, that's pretty much it. Now onto the build. So I just used one six foot long by six inch wide stick of solid birch. 
I just got it from my local big box store. Um, it, it was pretty simple build. All I did was rip that piece down to five and a half inches wide on my table saw, um, cut them to a little over 15 inches long, butt glued them uh, together like uh, side by side. So there's actually a seam that goes down the center of this front baffle right here. Uh, I used what was left of that for this uh, little kickstand right here and the little terminal holder, I don't know. Uh, and that was it as far as the, the um, construction, <laughs> the build. So for some details, I cut the bottom of this kickstand and the bottom of the actual front baffle at a 15 degree angle. So it sits back a little bit like that. Um, I also inset this kickstand into the baff side of the baffle. So you can actually have them sit on their side and they'll also have a nice angle. Just for a little, little different look. Um, another thing I did was I inset the uh, speaker into the front baffle. So this is nice and flat. Um, I also chamfered a 45 degree angle into the speaker cutout. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's a really simple build process. That's why I was excited about this build. Um, I thought a lot of you uh, beginners, newbies, new people uh, might be interested in building something like this. Um, you can really make this as complicated uh, or as simple as you want it to be. You can you know, do a bunch of design stuff to make it more complicated or just cut a hole in a piece of cardboard and stick a driver in it. All right, so I have some thoughts. I still think it's gonna be a lot of fun making a sound test video for these speakers, um, but as far as my first impressions, my first listening impressions, um, I, I think I failed on my fourth goal of having them sound good. <laughs> Although they do sound very airy and open, uh, they have virtually no bass. <laughs> um, uh, and the mids, to be honest, are lacking as well. So I'm really unsure if I messed up on the design or I chose the wrong drivers or uh, this is just how open baffle speakers sound. Um, I know that open baffle speakers are supposed to sound, are, are, are not supposed to sound very bass heavy, um, but it's, it's very, very not bass heavy. <laughs> but we're still gonna have a lot of fun with these speakers. Um, so I'm going to do a sound test with a spectrum analyzer so we can get some numbers. Uh, and then I'm going to build a proper ported uh, enclosure for the back of these speakers using the same uh, front baffle. And then we'll test them again, do another sound test and see how the numbers are different. So this is gonna be a little bit of an ongoing uh, series process, um, but I think it'll be fun. And it, it, it kind of sticks with the whole, you know, just trying out stuff. Trying out stuff, see if it works. It'll be good, I hope. So please, if you have experience listening to or building open baffle speakers, I'd love to hear your input on what I did here. Um, also, I'd love to hear what your project was, what speakers did you use or drivers did you use, what baffle, you know, all that stuff. Um, I'd also love to hear from everybody else. <laughs> what do you think about open baffle speakers? What do you think about doing this little ongoing series with uh, kind of testing out speakers, make, trying to make them sound better, all that stuff. I love hearing from you guys. Um, also, if you liked this video, if you like these Build Talk videos, um, give me a thumbs up. It helps, it helps a lot. <laughs> um, also check out curvymeetsaudio.com. Bunch of cool stuff over there. Free build plans, uh, kits, all sorts of stuff. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to eat lunch now. <laughs> All right. Bye. I'll see you next week.